Hello and welcome to Rescue Speechless. Today's video is the best Marvel skin combos for chapter 5. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be best Marvel skin combos for chapter 5. And this video was suggested by two of my viewers, which is Necros and Lava Dragon 13 Thank you very much to both of you for the video suggestion. Necros said, could you possibly do your top Marvel skin combos for hype for the next season? Of course I can. And Lava Dragon 13 said, yo SG, I think you should do a video on combos that match the next season. If you can, of course I can. Since chapter 5 season 4 is meant to be a Marvel season, I thought I'd do my top 10 favourite skins and combos for Marvel series skins. The first one is Deadpool Pen and Ink, which came out pretty recently. Definitely is my favourite Marvel series skin at the moment. And Deadpool Pen and Ink, part of the Deadpool and Wolverine set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 3. And the actual style I'm using is all mask. I'm using it on. You can use it off if you prefer. Same with the arrow. I'm using it off, but you can use it on if you prefer to do so. I really do like this skin a lot. Back Blink is the Deadpool Katana. It's part of the Deadpool set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2's Back Pass. And this is Deadpool's background from that season. He was a secret skin and works for now, so just for the Deadpool skin in general. Pickaxe is the Muromasa Blade, which is a Marvel series pickaxe, part of the Zero War set, in Shoes and Chapter 3, Season 3. And this is the Wolverine Zero's pickaxe. He was a crew pack skin. Could also use the Muromasa Blade as a backbling and pickaxe combo as well, if you'd like to do so. The umbrella for this combo is a Mighty Marvel Brella, which was the Victory Royale umbrella from Chapter 2, Season 4, which was the last fully Marvel season we had. Works in IC with the black and red design. Contrail for this combo is Glitch in the System, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 5's Battle Pass. Using it for the red design, you can use any other Contrail that's red themed, would work nicely. We've had a lot of good ones just through the different Battle Passes in general. First weapon wrap is Blasted, part of the Short Fuse set, introduced in Chapter 2. Season 2's Battle Pass ends T and Tina's weapon wrap from that season. Goes very nicely with the actual comic book pen and ink style design of the actual Deadpool pen and ink skin. Let's move on to combo number 2, which is my second favourite Marvel series skin at the moment, which is Wolverine pen and ink. Part of the Deadpool and Wolverine set once again. In Shooting Chapter 5, Season 1. You can also use the standard Wolverine if you want from Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass. Just use the standard style would work nicely. Back blink for this combo is a Crimson Crest, part of the Order of the Waning Moon set, in Shoes from Chapter 3, Season 1's Battle Pass. The style I like to use or colour is a Midnight Crest for the light blue and dark blue design. Pickaxe is a Leo's Katana, part of the TMNT set, in Shoes from Chapter 5, Season 1. I've been rocking this with this skin a lot, because I don't really have many claws that isn't his set of claws, so I thought I'd just use this instead. So if you have any of the ever set of claws, I think there's like been four or five different sets of them, you can use those, obviously, if you want to use a set of claws with the skin, which would obviously make sense for Wolverine. The glider from this combo is the MCG, which was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass, and works very nice with all these different actual comic book designs and styles. And the style I'm using is the Wolverine Volume 2, hashtag 145, as you see here, very nice design. Contrail for this combo is Sap Light, which is a Marvel series Contrail, part of the grouped set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass. Men use it for the yellow design, but you can also use a dark blue themed Contrail, would work nicely. Let's move on to the wrap wrap now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is Water Levels, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 3. And you get this from the actual challenges, the Summer Challenge, I always forget what they're called. The All Sweat Summer Challenge, they've done enough of the quest, you'll have this wrap wrap. Using it for the dark blue, light blue and yellow design, works very nicely with the Wolverine pen and ink skin. Let's move on to combo number 3 now, which is the OG Deadpool, which was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2's Back Pass, part of the Deadpool set. And he was a secret skin. And the actual style I'm using is the style mask on. You can use mask off. And the colour I'm using is default. We also were able to get X-Force as well, which is pretty cool. But I thought I'd keep the standard default Deadpool colour scheme. Back bling is the Colour Pulse Bow, part of the, dead, part of the Deadpool set, and she's in Chapter 2, Season 2, using it for the red design and it's a Colour Pulse Back Bling. Pickaxe is DP's Katanas, part of Deadpool and Wolverine set, and she's in Chapter 5, Season 3. This is Deadpool Pen and Ink's Pickaxe. Goes very nicely, obviously, with the Deadpool skin. The Glider is a Deadpool Dropper, part of the Deadpool and Wolverine set, in Shoes in Chapter 5, Season 3, and this is the Deadpool Pen and Ink Glider. I haven't used it yet, because I didn't want to use it with obviously Deadpool Pen and Ink skin, but obviously it works very nicely with the Deadpool skin itself. Contra, once again, is glitch in the system, just for red design. Like I mentioned in the first combo, just use any other red theme contract if you don't have this one. Let's move on to the third weapon wrap now, which is this one right here, which is the Rat Pool, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 3. 
3, part of the Deadpool and Wolverine set. I'm not 100% sure why it's not Marvel series. It's not obviously showing up as Marvel series, but either way, it's a Deadpool pen and ink weapon wrap. And this is how it looks on the actual weapon. For example, the assault rifle works very nice, obviously, with the Deadpool design a black and red. Let's move on to combo number four now, which is Spider Man, part of the Spider Man set in Houston Chapter 3, Season 1's Battle Pass. I'm pretty sure he was a tier 100 skin from that Battle Pass. And the favourite style for me to use for this skin is a Scarlet Blackout, which is the second super level style from that season. As you can see here, it has a nice black and red design. To be fair, this Spider Man skin has a lot of good designs, it has a symbiote suit. Future Foundation, the photo negative, the one I'm using, Scarlet Blackout, and also the Gilded Reality. But obviously, as I said, my favourite is the Scarlet Blackout for the black and red design. Back Bling is a Widow's Light, part of the Black Widow set in Choosing Chapter 2 Season 4. Mainly using it for the red design, but you can use any other red themed holographic back blings, would work nicely. For example, Mark of the Slayer would be a very good alternative. Pickaxe is 928 axes, part of the Across the Spider Verse set in Choosing Chapter 4 Season 2. And it's just the, um, Spider-Man 2099's pickaxes works very nicely for the red design. Umbrella once again is a mighty marble umbrella. Contrail is glitching the system. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is Merc, which is a Marvel series pickaxe. Pickaxe a Marvel series weapon wrap, part of the Deadpool set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 2, and his Deadpool's weapon wrap from that season. Works very nicely for the black and red design. I really do like this weapon wrap a lot. Let's move on to combo number five now. For this one, I thought I'd use a Spider Gwen, which is part of the Spider Gwen set in Houston Chapter 3 Season 4's Battle Pass. I'm using the style Spider Gwen, but you can use Gwen Stacy if you want. I find if you do use a Gwen Stacy style, sometimes the hood, as you see here, goes for the actual back bling. So I usually stick with these Spider Gwen, so you have the hood up, basically I'm not unmasked, because I find sometimes the actual hood gets in the way. The super level I'm using is Aurelian, I think that's how you say it, which is the final super level style from that season. As you see here, it has a nice gold, pink, and a little bit of white design as well. The back thing I'm using is the Spider-Verse Portal, part of the Across the Spider-Verse set in Houston Chapter 4, Season 2. And this is Miles Morales' back thing. Works very nicely for just the actual Spider-Verse design. And it works very nicely for the purple. The orange doesn't work very nicely, but the purple does work nicely with the style. Pickaxe is a walloping web hammer, part of the Spider-Man set in Houston Chapter 3, Season 1. And Spider-Man like the comic book style of his pickaxe, based on what I used in the previous combos, pickaxe from Chapter 3, Season 1. Glide I'm using for this combo is a Rift Rider, which is part of the Drift set in Houston Chapter 1 Season X's Bat Pass. I'm using it for the gold and pink design. Contrail is a Portal Particles, which is a Marvel series Contrail, part of the Spider Gwen set in Houston Chapter 3 Season 4. I wasn't sure what Contrail to use, I thought I'd use a Spider Gwen's Contrail for this combo. Let's move on to the web wrap now, which is this one right here which is Maximum Drift, part of the Drift set in Houston Chapter 1 Season X's Battle Pass once again. Used this mainly for the pink design. Obviously, there's a nice lightning theme as well. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number 6 now, which is the Black Widow outfit, part of the Avengers set in Houston Chapter 1 Season 8, or the OG Black Widow people like to call it. Obviously, this skin didn't come back for like a thousand plus days and came back this year, and I picked it up and it came back recently, or when it came back this year. You can use colour red. The one I'm using is colour blonde. Totally up to you which, which colour hair you want to use. Back bling is the black shield. Part of the Fortnite set in Houston Chapter 1 Season 2's Back Pass. And it's a Black Knight's back bling from that season. Works perfectly for the black, red and white design. You can also use the red shield as an alternative. Obviously, if you don't have this back bling, it's pretty OG. Pickaxe is the Ice Breaker. Part of the Arctic Command set in Houston Chapter 1 Season 1. I mainly use it for the black. The silver does work nicely as well. Umbrella once again is a mighty marble umbrella. Contrail is glitching the system. Let's move on to weapon wrap now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is a fully blacked out weapon wrap, which is Boogeyman, part of the John Wick set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 9. And you got this weapon wrap for getting challenges done in the John Wick Bounty LTM. You can also use the Assassin as an alternative as John Wick's weapon wrap that's sold in the item shop. Stealth Black, if you do want to use Tide Eye Abyss, for example, make sure your banner color is back. Black back. Black, it pretty much makes it look very similar to this actual weapon wrap. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number seven. For this one, I thought I'd use Tony Stark, part of the Iron Man set in Houston Chapter 2, Season 4. And I'm using the style gold foil, basically in this season, like these super level styles, where silver foil, gold foil, and then I think it was hollow foil, which is basically a rainbow style. I didn't get the hollow foil for this skin, so I basically got the gold. Back bling is the Infinity Gauntlet. Part of the Mad Titan set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 7. Works perfectly with the gold design and works perfectly with Iron Man in general. Pickaxe is the Gold Crow. Part of the Double Agent set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 3. Use it for the gold and black design.
The umbrella for this combo is classified, which is a victory royale umbrella from chapter 2, season 2, using it for black and gold. Contra is ballistics, introduced in chapter 1, season X, sorry, season 8, using it for the gold design as well. Let's move on to the wrap. Now, it's my favourite black and gold themed ref wrap, which is this one right here, gold and black, part of the undercover summer set, introduced in chapter 2, season 7. Nice reactive ref wrap. It's basically the, the summer version of Minus's ref wrap. Starts fully black and fruit. The further you get throughout the game, it gets more golden, which is pretty cool too. It gets fully golden. If you don't have this, you can use any other gold themed Breath Wraps, for example, the golden scales would work perfectly. Let's move on to next combo. Now, it's combo number eight. I thought I'd use Mystique from the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass, part of the Mystique set. I haven't really, I didn't really use this skin much when it first came out. It's a pretty clean looking skin. Also has an emote where basically you eliminate an opponent, you can then turn into their skin, which is pretty cool. The actual style I'm using is the Tactical Mystique. Back bling is the Solid Skull, part of the Most Wanted set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. I'm using this stage, Eliminator's Crown. This back bling could get in the Most Wanted event, and basically to each stage, to get the final stage anywhere, the one I'm using, you, you needed 100 eliminations and a victory round in the time the Most Wanted event was around. Which obviously, as you see here, I have the map, which is pretty cool. If you don't have this, use anything other gold themed, or you could use black or red themed, would work nicely. I thought I'd use this because her back thing is a skull. I thought I'd use another skull, which isn't hers. Pickaxe is a widow's bite, part of the Avengers set, introduced in season eight. It's a Marvel series pickaxe, and it's the OG Black Widow's pickaxe, using it for the black and red design. Umbrella, once again, is a mighty Marvel umbrella. Contrail is a Storm Strike, part of the Storm set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass. Wasn't sure what to use with the Mystique skin, so I just thought I'd use a blue theme Contrail. Let's move on to the ref route now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is an Icon Series ref route, which is Leroy Freestyle, part of the Kid Leroy set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. Use it for the black, grey, and blue design. That's the hardest part I find with Mystique, is to like, combo a wet wrap with the skin. So I find, obviously, a uh, colour scheme, which is a blue of their skin, sometimes her hair. This one works a bit nicer for the black, silver, and like red and blue, but certain white styles for her I find hard to combo with. But either way, let's move on to the next combo, which is another Spider Man skin, which is Spider Man No Way Home, based on the Tom Holland version. I'm using the mask. Mask, but you can use unmasked if you want. And the star I'm using is black and gold. I personally prefer the black and gold super version. It does work nicely. I thought since I used with the Spider Man from chapter one three, chapter three season one, I thought used, I since I used black and red design, I'd use the gold and black one for this one. Back bling is a gold token, part of the John Wick set, introduced in chapter one season nine. You got this back bling for getting challenges done in the John Wick Bounty LTM in chapter one season nine. If you don't have this, use any other gold thing. Back bling would work perfectly. Pickaxe is a stun knife, which is a game version series pickaxe. Part of the sneaking set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1's Bat Pass, and was Solid Snake's pickaxe from that season. Here's the secret skin. This works very nicely for the black and carbon fibre design. Umbrella is classified, which was the victory round. Umbrella from Chapter 2, Season 2. Black and gold is why I'm using it. Contra is ballistics, once again, since it's black and gold. Let's move on to ref wrap now, which is a pretty OG ref wrap, which is carbon and gold. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7's Bat Pass. Works very nicely for the carbon fibre and gold design. This is how it looked on the weapon. For example, assault rifle. Let's move on to the final combo now. For this one, I thought I'd use Black Panther, which is part of the Black Panther set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. Now you have to buy an actual bundle. I think it was like Marvel Royalty. I think it was quite expensive. I think it's like £25 from where I am from the UK. But obviously it was quite expensive. I know they like, reduced the price a bit. But I really do like the Black Panther skin a lot. The style I'm using is the Black Panther Kinetically Charged. Back Blink is the Wolf Pack, part of the Full Moon set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 6. Using this for the black and gold design. Pickaxe is a Dark Axe, Dark Series Pickaxe, introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. Using it for the purple. The Umbrella is Storm Cell, which is introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. To unlock this, you had to be defeat the Storm King in a game mode. I think it's like a um, like LTM to unlock this Umbrella. Using it mainly for the purple and black design. Contrail is Glyphs. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7, part of the Lightning and Thunderstorm set. Using it for the purple, if you can also use a gold theme, Conchal would work nicely. Let's move on to the final breath wrap now, which is my favourite purple theme breath wrap I own, which is Midas Shadow, part of the Fortnite Mares 2020 set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. Nice animated breath wrap, and you got this for getting challenges done in Fortnite Mares 2020. This is how it looks on the weapon. So that's all the best Marvel, Marvel skin combos for Chapter 5. Thank you once again to Necros and Lava Dragon 13 
for the video suggestion. I really did enjoy making combos for my 10 favorite Marvel series skins. Obviously, if you do want to see another video of this, for example, me making more combos, obviously there's been like, I think almost 60 Marvel skins that came out, which is pretty crazy. So if you do want to see any others, feel free to let me know. Or just any other video suggestion in general, I'm always down to give something new again. Obviously, feel free to leave it in the comments. Could be, for example, skin, back bling, pickaxe, guard, or slash umbrella, contra, or wake up, or anything other, Fortnite or Legends. Always feel free to let me know. But anyways, that's pretty decent.